Welcome back to Insanely Chill, guys. I'm sorry that this episode is one day late, um, but I I don't have an excuse. It's just a day late, and I'm sorry. Today on the podcast, my guests are Aries and Ramzoid, um, two musicians, producers, real dope dudes. Um, I first got into their shit on YouTube about six months ago um, when I started fucking around with production and with making my own music. I uh, got obsessed with producer videos on YouTube. And this involves basically, you know, talented producers, uh, starting with an idea or a concept or a remix they want to do and creating it from the ground up and filming it and editing it. And a lot of these dudes are so talented. They can just do it in like, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. And it's nothing for them. And it ends up being a super dope track. And just by watching these videos, I've learned so much about what it takes to make music. Um, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of famous producers nowadays that say in interviews and stuff that they learned everything that they know from YouTube. And uh, I definitely see how that could be true now. Um, So Aries and Ramzoid both post these kind of videos. And um, it's not even really supposed to be that educational. It's more for entertainment. But, you know, me just, I don't know, just knowing, seeing how they manipulate sounds and... um, I guess structure a track is uh, is not only spi- inspiring but also um, has taught me a ton. So I remember, like you know, I, I think back in December I was watching one of Ramsoy's videos. I'm like, I'm gonna hit this dude up. So I hit him up on Twitter. I was like, Yo, dude, love your vids. He hit me back and he was like, you know, he was like, Yo, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. And um, and then I got in touch with Aries as well. And I think in regards, maybe it was about his new song or something. Um, he just had a song come out recently uh, on Spotify, I think like this year in January or something, and it's already at 1.5 million streams or something. It's called Carousel, great song. Uh, Ramsoid has a bunch of great music on his SoundCloud as well. Um, so definitely check them both out on YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, and this interview is great. We just talk about production stuff, but we also talk about, you know, just stuff in general, the creative process, you know, what it's like to, I guess, uh, try and make it in this field, in this industry. So enjoy the episode guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully next episode, next week's episode will be on time, but you know, who fucking knows, you know what I'm saying? Any, okay. Enjoy. Here we are. All right. We're rolling. <laughs> Do I got to talk like super close to it? Or what? Do I got to talk like super close? Yeah. To here, it? just pull it towards you. Uh, Good idea. Yeah. And you can adjust the shit too. Yeah. If it's uncomfortable. Check. These are like the cheapest Chinese stands ever. They were like three dollars. I mean, whatever works. Exactly. Uh, so, welcome back to the podcast, everyone. Um, today we have um, two of my inspirations. You guys have taught me probably the most out of anyone on any subject on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, about I'm it. Honest. Like six months ago, got like <laughs> obsessed with producer videos nice. and like watching you guys like build tracks from the ground up. Uh, like it's just like like to me is like the coolest fucking thing ever Damn. and definitely has taught me the the most. Um, so we have Aries and Ramzoid here What's today up, on the podcast. Um, musicians, um, artists, producers. Yeah. How's it going? We're chilling, man. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thanks. thanks for coming. Going Appreciate great. it. It was cool to get you guys both on here. Yeah. Um, totally. Good time, man. I know. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to like... I'm going to be out of town like the next couple of days and they had to like make time for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you. You're from, uh, where are you from again? I know we just talked about this, but yeah. <laughs> let's just do it again. Um, I'm from Orange County, born in Kansas. Yeah, that's where I'm going tomorrow in the next couple of days, Kansas. But yeah, um, I grew up kind of just in Orange County. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, and I'm from Prince Edward Island, Canada. It's like the far east coast of Canada. Not many people know where it is, but Cody actually knew mm-hmm. because he's I've a fucking fellow been there Canadian before. and he's been there. I've been there. Amazing. I'm trying to remember if anything cool happened while we were there. Yeah. I just remember being like, this looks like, like it's crazy. Just It feels like you're on Mars yeah. for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like <laughs> I mean, to me, it's just like normal, but it's definitely super small and yeah. there's like nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and so what, so how did you get, like, have you been producing for a long time? Yeah. I've been producing since I was like 12 and I'm 20 now. Yeah. I mean, not seriously, but like I picked up producing, I guess when I was like 12, probably, um, I was super into like gaming montages and I all used like Skrillex and dead mouse, okay. like crazy dubstep music. So I was super into that for a while and I don't know. I was into editing videos like 
editing trick shots and like Call of Duty montages and shit. So, um, yeah, I was into editing. That's such like a 12 year old totally like genre of co- well actually maybe not but i feel like a lot of 12 oh, year olds are super sure. into that shit especially back then i, I like, was so into like call of duty and yeah shit yeah I was around just that like that whole xbox like gamer scene on yeah. youtube and you stuff like quick scope or stuff? yeah exactly yeah, yeah, like exactly. 360 yeah, no, no scope, scope <laughs> quick scope trick shots um but i sucked at editing and everyone was using like crazy dubstep music so i was like damn i want to learn how to make this so I started searching up tutorials and shit and then so you wanted to make it so you could put it in your in yeah your, in your no scope montage yeah, I wanted <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty much I, I want to score my own <laughs> no scope montages yeah or like no one wanted me to edit their videos because I sucked so I wanted like some way to be in the community I guess and okay. I was like maybe I can make music and get decent at it but even that I didn't I feel like I didn't make anything that anyone listened to for probably five years after I started messing around with that. Like I only started taking it seriously a year or two ago. Really? I would say, yeah. What made you take it seriously? Like, was there a moment where you're Um, like, all right, people are actually fucking with this. I'm actually good. Yeah. I would just post all my tracks on SoundCloud. Yeah. Um, And I started getting a little bit of a fan base. Like my tracks still sucked, but... I just spammed like every song I made on SoundCloud. <laughs> you, really? Yeah. That's like, I feel like it's like the only way to like, in the beginning, like it's like how, it's an interesting thing. How do you build an audience from zero? Yeah, exactly. On whatever platform you're on. It's like throwing shit at the wall. Yeah, basically. totally. Yeah. yeah. And you see the, you know, you see now the spam comments all over every single platform and you're like, who the fuck would do this? And yeah, you're like, exactly. wait a minute, if I was starting from zero, there's really no other way. Yeah. yeah right like i even remember going on skrillex music videos and posting my songs being like yo i'm 13 like check yeah. out my crazy we've dubstep all, mix we've all done that yeah that's crazy yeah that's nuts man and so were you making shit like like often for five years like, yeah like for the first couple years not very often mm-hmm. like i'm pretty sure after i first discovered that you could make music i like gave up for a few months <laughs> like i couldn't get a sound out of the program I yeah yeah like, yeah dude it's I such like up. a steep i feel like it's such an intimidating thing yeah totally it's such like a steep learning curve it's just yeah. like a wall of buttons and random things yeah yeah exactly yeah. but um yeah after a little bit it started to pick up i guess like after i started to know what i was doing it got more fun because i could just go in and like start to make what i was hearing in my head i guess yeah and like after you get to that point I feel like it Comes becomes a, a easier. yeah exactly yeah. it becomes more of a creative thing than like a technical thing I yes guess. yeah yeah and how about you when did you start so I started like um actually making my own music like producing that yeah. was like early high school okay so yeah I kind of like, sorry how old are you I'm 19 okay yeah. what you're 19 yeah what the fuck yeah. <laughs> are you serious yeah. what aren't you, aren't you older than me yeah, I just and you're turned, 20. I just turned 20 in January. God damn, that's you, insane. You're almost 20, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but um yeah, I started early high school and um I didn't know how to play any instruments, so I was like pretty discouraged and I took like piano when I was like a little kid, but I hated that shit. Yeah. But um I've always been like really into like rock music and I'm like, damn, I always wanted to like, you know, perform and stuff. And um I kind of started like rapping. It was like at a time when I smoked a lot of weed, mm-hmm. so we'd go and just, you know, smoke and then freestyle just in the gutters with my friends it was yeah. like middle school shit okay i stopped smoking because i used to get really like panicky and like that kind of like uh, that isolated me in my room mm-hmm. like for just you know which is could be a good and a bad thing i guess good for making music bad for other things but um that kind of just led me to my start and just paved the way of making music and I just fucked around for like the first four years basically all of high school came out of high school went to college for like two months dropped out had a lot of arguments with my parents it's okay though um seemed to work out and I like I had this like game plan in my mind that like yeah it's gonna work yeah even though I had absolutely no plan I was really just like yeah so were you like in terms of music theory were you like you didn't know anything? Nothing. Really? Absolutely nothing. Have, have, I still like, don't. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, I mean when, you, when you're like, usually when you're like, all right, I'm going to set out to find some chords, you usually yeah. find them pretty fast or is that just like an editing trick? No, I, I mean, I do find them pretty fast. But that, like I've like trained my ears to just do that kind of 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. So right. Because like, you you like you know what I mean. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I don't really just, know much music theory either. You just kind of like, like know what sounds right. There's like certain notes yeah. that just don't fit with each other. Yeah. I just yeah. I mostly you mean like I mean? you find a chord. Yeah. And you're like, all right, this one sounds good. Yeah. In order to like develop a chord progression, I feel like quickly. Yeah. Like usually. It takes me a while to find the next one because I'm like, I don't like, yeah, wait, it's, almost, I, it's like a formula. It's like, all right, I'm going to go up three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. No, I, I, know I what feel you like mean. it's almost just a practice thing. Yeah. Like a lot of the it's time of I'll things. start with a bass line and then sort of start building chords on top of it mm -hmm. just because like certain notes don't sound right with certain bass notes, you yeah. know, yeah. like when you stack them up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's just through like experimentation. You get fast at it. Hmm. Yeah. Especially through making videos. I find... You like learn to do it really fast. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I feel like that's like yeah. Us. But um, usually I'll find like the scale of like whatever the song is in. So like, <clears throat> whatever notes can, you can play yeah. with it and what you can't, mm -hmm. and then you kind of just like find the notes within that scale that you could play chords. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, it's gotcha. Like, I, I'm go I Google that shit a lot. I'm like, all oh, right. Yeah like a minor chords and then yeah. i'll just <laughs> yeah <totally. laughs> there's like that image on google images of like the piano with the <laughs> marked keys and i'll just fucking yeah. exactly <laughs> that's really funny do. do you guys so yeah i wanted like it's interesting because you guys are both successful as like artists right now like you know you got a fucking hit song on spotify now you're touring yeah um do you think like being like a youtube producer teaching other people how to make music has that helped your own careers for sure. In what yeah. ways? Yeah. Um, it's on You go first. Oh, okay. I'll cut you off. <laughs> no, it's cool. Um I feel like it's almost just accelerated it a lot. Like it's almost just a way for people to find your music easier, kinda. Yeah. So like right. when I go into making YouTube videos, I don't necessarily set out for it to be like a tutorial per se. Yeah. Like I almost just try to edit it as something that can be entertaining for anyone. So like if someone's looking up Lil Pump, then if they yeah. randomly come across my video, it's not like super technical, like only for producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've found because there's lots of people who just do tutorials and it's like a 30 minute like Ableton session with their face cam in the right. corner. You know? Right, right, right. Um, so I've found taking that approach has helped my career a lot more, I think, because it's almost just... It's more universal. Exactly. Like yeah. Like, it's accessible for like anyone kind of. Yeah. yeah. There is like a downside to that though. And we we would talk about that quite yeah. a bit. It's just like we got a lot of this, like so if you look up like Ramsoy, let's say on YouTube, it'll be like Ramsoy Low Pump. It's like one of the first results. Okay. And it's like we're kind of gaining our popularity in a sense, just off like using bigger artist names. Yeah. Which in it like in a way that's kind of just like, uh, it kind of hurts like the artistry, you know, a little bit. But, but it's, it's like cool because just, people are finding our like own, yeah, own music. Yeah. And that's helping like, yeah, that's how I got like my SoundCloud following, my Spotify following. Yeah. It's because of the YouTube. I so. don't really feel like there's truly any like genuine way you can like make it right now yeah. as an artist well, without doing that sort of shit. It's a it's whole so, different environment now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's so saturated with, um, there's a million yeah. people making music right now there's like yeah. no right people. or wrong way honestly. yeah exactly you gotta yeah. get so. you gotta get you know ears however you can i guess yeah. totally it's like a new path i guess yeah but and i guess yeah you're right your videos are more entertaining than they are like it's really fun to watch someone make a song from the yeah. ground up and it's but not I mean, technical it's, yeah. but if you if you know what to look for it can be technical totally. like i'm watching yeah. when you're like eqing and stuff like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like that's why i've learned so much from them and also just like workflow i've like you know i guess for me like the blank page like scares me the most oh yeah i'm like sure. where the, and for music especially because it's like you need to start with something yeah and it can't just be like you know it's like you put your hands on the keys play a bunch of random notes and you're like fuck this <laughs> this is like the most how am i gonna make this sound like something totally Good. i mean even for me a lot of the time that's like <laughs> my starting point it's intimidating for yeah. sure yeah yeah 100 yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, tell um tell me about uh, Carousel. So, um, Carousel. I actually wanted to put that song out back in like November, and I had like kind of like the rough draft for it, but I waited like a couple more months because I had this guy from the UK, um, who like reached out to me. He's uh said like, "Yo, let me do this like trial period with you where I could like help get your song into some playlists on Spotify." He has like connects on there, and um, 
back around November, I kind of wasn't like sure. I was just like, it, it had been like a month since I've been off social media and I just dropped like a song with my friends that didn't really do too well. And then waited a couple months later, January came and then I was like, all right, it's, it's time for this song. And the proof was in the pudding. It really did get in like all those Spotify playlists. I yeah. got in a new music Friday the day after it came out. Which That's is crazy. like one of the biggest yeah. spots, and it was like yeah. right at the top too. Yeah, I was like above Jennifer Lopez and like Justin Timberlake. So, um, do you know who it was that like did, did this guy that reach out? He was the one that put. So yeah, him mean, song he, on the playlist, or um, he just is he pitched in contact. It. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he pitched it to a lot, but actually, one of the things uh, I did find out about New Music Friday that it might not have been him. There's, I don't know if you're familiar with Hilly Dilly. It's like a, no, it's like a music so. blog. And um, they actually reached out to me and said, yo, like I was the one that got you in a new oh, music Friday specifically because they're like homies with the curator. I'm like, oh shit. So, but yeah. So um, like you can just send like a few thousand dollars to this address, please. Yeah, no, honestly. <laughs> um, I was the one who did that, so. <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, it peaked at number 10 in the US viral, like top That's 50. That's crazy, damn. So yeah, that, that was pretty crazy too. And shout out to Demi Lovato. She has me on her tour playlist. Oh damn, yeah. Demi! Nice. If you're watching this, shout out to you. Feel free to Big DM ups. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to DM me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's crazy. So, what was that like? Like having like a hit song on Spotify? I mean, that's what's it at now? How many how many streams? I think almost 1.5 mil. That's crazy. Yeah. How many is it getting a day? Uh, a little over twenty thousand. I think. Okay. So yeah, just right now it's kind of like steadied out. Yeah. But yeah. But that's so that's amazing. So crazy. Though. Yeah. That was mind blowing. Like just seeing that, I'm like, damn, I made this like in my bedroom. Yeah. And like, I feel like we all would come to that like little realization every now totally. and then. Just like, oh shit, I made this in my bedroom. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's it's always so cool. It's like yeah. humbling. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So what's it like? Anything coming from this? Like, are you? Is is your dream to like play shows and stuff like that? And yeah. 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 Like, so is that like coming to fruition now? I feel like to have a song with 1.5 million streams, there's not like percentage wise, there's not that many on Spotify that. Yeah, there, there's tons Achieve of that. options now, yeah. I could say. Like, way more options to, you know, choose from. I still want to just kind of, like, keep doing this, you know, because it's really early, and, like, you obviously get, like, a lot of phone calls and stuff with, like, A&Rs, right, after yeah. you get a song that's, like, you know, big like that. What does a r stand for? I actually have no clue. I think it's <laughs> artist and repertoire. Artist and repertoire or artist relations. Yeah. Okay. Um, at, like, a label. I, f- I always gotcha. forget. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, yeah. but it's like the person who works with artists at a label to like yeah. curate talent and stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like if a label was looking for a feature on like some big dude's record, then right. the A&R will go out like looking for different yeah. people. Okay. And like you, that's just an example of what they do, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. And you had A&Rs like reaching out to you? Yeah. Just from like multiple labels. That's pretty um, dope. Yeah, I mean, um, I didn't. I still don't have like someone technically managing me. Yeah. So I'd be taking like all these calls. Like, I had to mark them in my reminders and stuff. And it get kind of annoying because some of them were like really good, you know, like yeah. you know, marketing themselves yeah. as like a label. Some of them were terrible. It'd be really? like interns that were just like, yeah, like, hey, I heard Carousel. Um, it's dope. <laughs> it's dope. <laughs> just want to say what's good. Yeah, no, like I get don't people know anything asking. about you, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will you sign? <laughs> yeah. I, I get people asking, like, if I wanted to write for other artists and, like, on, like, the low. And I'm like, what do you mean on the low? Like, yeah. like on, it was, They would say that. Yeah. That is yeah like a like some technical go, term. Some, well, technically, we say on the low. Yeah, <laughs> it's a music it. industry term. It's just bizarre. Yeah. And, so like, you, beats and stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. But. Guy, I guess all that shit comes with being a producer. You can do anything. Definitely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can write hooks. You could fucking produce songs. You could... You know, make beats for rappers, shit like that. So, yeah, totally. Yeah. It's interesting, like, a lot of people... Well, I mean, like, I guess, like, big-ass DJs and stuff like that, a lot of them just don't even make their own shit. It's just... They're just touring all the time, and they have ghost yeah. producers that are mm-hmm. making their shit for them. Exactly, yeah. And they might have not even... They might not have even started as producers. Like, I don't think Steve Aoki has ever produced a song before. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I mean? Crazy. Like, it's just... He's yeah. just... And it's... It, but I, I feel like learning how to, like... I don't know. I feel like it's very beneficial, like learning how to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, what attracted you to producing rather than just like for you, I guess, like just singing or uh, like trying to be like just an artist that way. Do you know what I mean? Just like making my own beats or I mean, like, you know, some people are 
you know, or at, like uh, succeed as singers just because they yeah. find beats and they sing over stuff and they yeah. have other artists produce for them. Like that's a route uh-huh. you could have taken probably. Yeah. So I, I don't think I'm that good at like singing or like, you know, any type of like vocal stuff. But when I'm able to make like the beat under it, I guess it kind of like meshes better. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain it really. But like if I were to just take a beat from YouTube and kind of just go over it without having like my say and like the beat i guess yeah or just like the instrument instrumentation yeah it's just harder for me yeah so like, i guess like i just try to shoot for like the the ending picture i guess yeah i don't know if that makes sense no that yeah. makes perfect like sense. the beat yeah. becomes part of your style too. yeah yeah almost. totally no, yeah. that's the yeah so yeah there's I like certain melodies sense. i'll leave out of the beat that i would initially put in to yeah leave from my voice yeah so yeah uh, be, okay like, certain, like, yeah you know, it's like that yeah. type of stuff yeah so yeah yeah i guess so the only way is to have like end to end control to, like yeah. to truly like have mm-hmm. a, your own sound yeah. yeah totally so when did things start like popping for you like when um, what's what happened like how wh- wh- you're on tour with grammatic right now is that um or you were but okay. i've played a few shows with grammatic too um, i used to be so into that really dude. yeah like <laughs> nice. 2013 yeah yeah i was a big grammatic fan hell yeah yeah um but yeah so i've been doing the music thing like just posting my shit on SoundCloud yeah. and like having Spotify releases here and there for a couple of years now, like two or three years, I would say, but nothing's really popped off like that much. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I started playing around with the YouTube thing probably like three quarters of a year ago, I would say like nine months ish. Um, and I just started with like a couple of random videos. Like I did one, remaking some song i think Mm -hmm. um i forget the other ones but did you have somebody you watched like that inspired you to to start yeah i found a couple people um you were actually one of them i think you were at like 2k subscribers or something (laughs) um and like a few other people and i was like damn this is cool because everyone was like getting more exposure from it at the time even Mm -hmm. though it wasn't much but i could sort of see the potential there i think and each one of my videos that I posted, the first one might have got like a hundred views, the second one might have got like five hundred, then like a thousand or something like that. So I was like, okay, what'll happen if I keep going with this? Um, so then I just tried to be like sorta consistent with it mm-hmm. and posting like popular topics and stuff like that. Um and then yeah, I just kept growing it from there over the past few months, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or like the past few months have been hard because I've been on tour and stuff. And it's hard to like make videos when you're on an airplane every day. Yeah. But um, where am I? I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, yeah. And how did you find, like, how did your manager... Yeah, okay. Like so, find you and shit like that. You have management. Are you like signed to a label now? Uh, or? I'm signed in like... Just for a few songs. Okay. So I'm sort of working that out right now. But um, yeah, I have management and booking agents. Okay. So probably like two years ago, I started this little collective thing with a few friends mm-hmm. called Soda Island. Um, we all, it was just like a group chat on Facebook mm-hmm. and we were all into making music and we were all friends and we decided to start this like sort of collective project together where we just release music, almost like a label, but... Mm-hmm just like no real official stuff to it, just posting it on SoundCloud. Okay. Um, and it was called Soda Island. And my current manager, Luke, shout out to Luke, um, hit us up. <laughs> shout he out like, to Demi, Demi Lovato. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to Luke. Luke. <laughs> shout out to Andrew too, my cousin. He loves shout you. Out, no way, really? Yeah. Hey. Shout He's out the to one you, who Andrew. got me into you, actually. No way. Yeah. That's funny. He's like obsessed with your videos. No way, really? Yeah. Did he, did I, did, did you, did you know of me before I DM'd you? Had you been watching yeah. my videos? Really? Yeah. That's I, like, crazy. I freaked out when you DM'd no me. No way, really? Yeah. That's crazy. That's really funny. I was at this like Christmas party and all my party. friends. I love, yeah. I love your accent, dude. <laughs> party. <Really? laughs> yeah. Past it. You're ours. You're ours. That's where it like truly really? comes out. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But sorry, you're at a Christmas party. Um, yeah, I was at a Christmas party and of, like a bunch of my friends were there that also watch your videos. Okay. And I like showed them and everyone started freaking out. No really way. Man, yeah, you're that's really popular funny. with the females too. Really? Yeah. Every single one of my friends that are like into you are all females and like what? Like what? You know, really? Cody Co. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. Shout, shout out, out to them as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Um, so what were we fucking we, just talking uh, about? 
management. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Right. So Luke mm-hmm. like emailed us probably 10 times and we didn't know what we were doing. And we like never checked our email. And then we saw there were like a million messages from this guy who it seemed like sort of official. Yeah. So we let him like hop on a Skype call with us. And he like told us whatever he was up to. And we were like, damn, this is actually legit. So it's funny um, that initial, like when someone reaches out and they're like, I want to be your manager. You're like, yeah, yeah, exactly. fucking right. You're trying to take me for everything. <laughs> yeah. I have. Like this is a scam for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we were all like 15 to 17 and had never like heard about anything in the music industry before. So yeah. we were like, okay, this is a scam. Like, but maybe we should just hop on and like let him talk to us for a minute. Um, and it turned out to be pretty legit and I've been with him for the past few years, um, just like putting out music, Mm -hmm. doing shows here and there. How big of a following Um, did you have back then? Maybe like 10 to 20 K on SoundCloud. Oh, what? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like before YouTube, it was a really like slow climb, I would say. Like I was growing sort of steadily, but it was really slow. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and how often were you putting out new tracks? Like probably every month or so. Okay. I would say like fairly frequently. Yeah. And I had sort of a fan base, but it was super niche, I would say. Like it was just in this little electronic world right. kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Um, were you playing shows like locally or anything? Not during really. That time? I, I was never really into the local thing. Yeah. There's like a tiny scene in PEI, but it's almost more like indie rock and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and I played a couple shows like randomly, but they were all like super small yeah. and random, but um yeah, then I started playing more shows, came to LA a few times, like hopped in some sessions and stuff. Um I did some random production work for other people too. Mm-hmm. Like I've produced some tracks, um remixes. Yeah done a bunch of remixes um and now i'm i'm trying to switch things up a little bit right now Mm -hmm. like because i've never i've never really considered doing vocals or like any of that stuff i've more just been on the production side but i hate like relying on vocalists and stuff for my songs Mm -hmm. so i'm trying to like switch things up a little bit and start doing every like everything really yeah can you sing no, I guess you don't really need you to don't, be. Yeah, that's you the don't. thing. Like, <laughs> I just like nah, he, if I put auto tune on my voice. I'm like, damn, yeah, this is dope. Exactly. He like, showed me some of the stuff. It's not like you wouldn't even expect it. Like, it's actually like dope. Really? Yeah, yeah. He was. Are see, you like using Melodyne to like? Fix yeah, the, like auto tune and stuff. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. It, it's there's a lot unique. Of, like it was really unique too. Like, damn, it, really? It's, you would not expect it. Really? Yeah, damn, I want to hear this yeah. shit. Yeah. Well. Th- I guess that gives me more confidence to do it, but it's almost like the confidence thing right now. Yeah, like, yeah. I've never even considered like doing vocals on anything. Yeah. So it's just like a scary thing. Yeah. And it Definitely. sounds super cringy to me right now. It's yeah. But apparently it doesn't to other people. Like I've showed a few people and they say it sounds good, yeah. but I don't know. I almost just need to sit down and like lock myself in a room for two months and figure it out. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like I'll have a better idea. Yeah. But yeah, that's sort of what I'm trying to do right yeah. now. It's funny how, how like cringy listening to your own voice. Exactly. 100%. Can yeah. poss- oh, like yeah. it's, and it's just such a, like, I feel like it's just a big step to actually like buy a mic and like even record like the stupidest shit. Like I'm just right now I'm in the process of just like, just like, I'll like make a beat and then like make a course, make a verse just like really, really fast. Just like get yeah. the, get the practice of like actually like writing a whole song and like, <laughs> like I'll record something and I'll listen back and I'm like, Oh my God, what are you even <laughs> saying? Like, it's just yeah. the voice sounds awful. And yeah, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like eventually you get better at that yeah. shit. Maybe totally. I Hopefully I will. I don't know. Like it took we'll me see. a couple months to even get past the point of sort of humming into the mic and like mm-hmm. really, like being comfortable with writing things down and like yeah yeah, yeah. even shit. writing lyrics exactly like that right? can be cringy as yeah, fuck yeah. I'm like what totally. am I trying to do here like yeah like if I write anything that's not funny I'm like just <laughs> like what are you doing like just yeah, go back like to go back realm, to the con- like you know? but yeah, yeah I'm yeah, saying yeah. like even like you know sometimes with the shit that I'm making in my room alone I'll just be like oh okay well I'll make a serious song yeah, yeah. And I'll write, li- and I'm like, this is so corny. What are you doing? Go back to comedy. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Go back to dick jokes. This is what you know. Yeah. 
This is what people know you for. So That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like I remember even looking at the most popular lyrics like ever written and I'm just like if you read them as a poem, they're super cringy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you so can look at the weekend's weird. lyrics yeah. and they're like, what is this? Like, is he <laughs> actually singing this? Yeah. It's like the it's, it's like, like a, a style that you do it in, I guess, that exactly. makes it like not yeah. cringy. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Hundred percent. And almost yeah, when you're hearing them over a track, it's just it's normal. It's like it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I used to find like like really vocalizing and like projecting my voice to be cringy. Oh yeah. Like just like, you know, because I would always be real quiet and like wait i could go louder than this but i'll try it it was just like what are you doing yeah. man like and then what changed you just kept doing it i just yeah i guess i i tried singing on this song because uh-huh. i used to do like more like rap not i mean it was like melodic type of rap but it yeah. wasn't like really like trying to hit notes and i still would not call myself a singer at all like yeah i, I need pitch correction like i need you okay know, just the normal stuff but um yeah i guess people fucked with the song that i put out like basically like a year ago now okay. it's dead man wonderland and that um that kind of just gave me confidence like he was talking about like you kind of need that yeah. confidence from other people because yeah. i was like this is shit like yeah yeah so exactly yeah like i always feel like once i put out a song with my own vocals on it it'll be so much easier moving forward mm-hmm. just because it's such a new thing from everyone yeah like everyone expects some like female singer on my songs right now yeah so yeah. it's like it's gonna be weird but have you had a male on your songs um I don't know, actually. I might have not. That's kind of weird. Yeah. I've definitely made some and been in like sessions with male vocalists, but I don't know if I've released anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, that's, man. That's the goal. That's <laughs> have you played any shows? No. Nah. No, never. Nah. I mean, technically, yeah, I have. Like, but it was way before I was like, I had any type of following. It was at a hookah lounge. Shout okay. out to the hookah lounge. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that was, I was like, I think I just turned 18. So okay, yeah, it was really bad. But yeah, it's okay. What do you yeah. do when you like? Are you were you singing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the songs I had back then were more rap, so I wasn't really singing, and I was doing it with the homie I had at the time. Okay. But yeah, like we got our whole entire like senior high school class to come. Really? At a hookah lounge too, so they definitely were not allowed to let a lot of the people in because a lot of the kids were like seventeen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but um, it was cool. That's funny. Yeah. And when you're playing a show right now, is it just a DJ set? like it yeah well i play like sort of live so i play through ableton yeah and like launch audio clips and stuff oh you do yeah do you play with the fucking for the se- uh whatever session yeah view? you play with the session view really? i do yeah keep talking i gotta restart yeah. this it's super weird but um like no one ever fucking uses it. i know i didn't use it until i tried to learn how to play live that i like the shit out of me when i first yeah started using ableton like no. in college, I've tried learning Ableton like oh, six actually? times. Damn. This is the only time that I've actually stuck with it because in college, I'm like yeah. trying to make music with the session view. And I'm like, what is like, I don't know what, like, it's like, I don't know. It's good for like <laughs> making patterns and shit. But I was like, this is too Wait, intimidating. Yeah. Like, I got it. What is it's it? like this weird other view that doesn't have the like sequencer thing. Or, mm-hmm. I don't it's know not like a it's linear called. way of yeah it's like more it's like these weird loop sections that you can like insert it, clips into it's, it's kind of weird. it's kind of like an fl like the little beat making fucking thing so where you like you where you like draw in stuff? yeah yeah it's yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like you make midi clips and then you can like rearrange them and play them with other midi clips and it's like yeah. for like establishing they're all, patterns they're all like, like synced to one tempo so you like play the session and then the midi clips like play in the same sequence oh, I don't even it's know. super I, weird I, I don't but, how to explain it. but i was yeah. stuck in that for like two years when i started really too yeah, yeah. I, had, I didn't know the other session thing <laughs> existed <laughs> i know it was super the weird. only time i was when I, our producer for like our rap shit he works in ableton and he like opened it one time during a session and switched over to the thing. I'm like, wait, you yeah. don't use the, he's like, no, nobody uses that. I was like, well, <laughs> fucking somebody could have fucking told me that five years ago. Yeah. It's so funny, I feel man. like every Ableton user goes through that problem, but you actually use it in live. Shows. Yeah. It's, it's great for live shows because uh-huh. you can sync clips to like that tempo. Yeah. Right. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So if I have one song, that's like a few BPM faster than the other, I can like, sync them together and then change the master tempo right um and it's also cool because sometimes i'll like export the drums from one song export the synths from another yeah and i can sort of like transition them through like syncing two different parts together gotcha. gotcha um and i also mute like the drums and synths from some of my songs too so i can play them live 
Mm. Like I have a drum pad thing that I play, like a drum sample pad okay. and yeah. a keyboard and like some random cymbals. But So yeah. you opening for what's yeah. the guy's name? Autograph? Autograph. Okay. I'm playing like right before them. So they're just taking me around, like getting into all the markets, I guess. Is it fun being on tour? It's fun, but it's definitely a lot too. Yeah. And I'm at a weird point right now that I sort of like, like I was saying, I kind of want to switch what I'm doing up a little bit. Yeah. So I almost just want to be home, like locked in my room. Making music. Yeah. Yeah. Excited yeah. to get to work on Exactly. Like yeah. Cause I haven't been home much for the past few months, like a few days at a time. Yeah. So you come home and like sleep for a day and then you get like one day off and then have to leave again. Yeah. yeah. But, um, what's yeah. the coolest show, I guess? The coolest show you've played so far. Um, I played Terminal 5 in New York on New Year's Eve. Okay. It's like this big airplane hangar. That's sick. Um, Yeah. With Grammatic. It was like his headline show or whatever. Um, And it was really cool. It was like sold out like 3,000 capacity venue. Holy fuck. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, The show was great, but the trip actually sucked. Why? Because... I, the hotel got booked like right near Times Square. Okay. On New Year's Eve. Oh, damn. Um, <laughs> and the hotel was just filled with like these foreign like families that were trying to come for New Year's Eve, like complaining about their hotel rooms mm-hmm. and like really like um, cranky moms that mm-hmm. were like trying to, I don't know. Oh, it God. was just, it was crazy. Damn, but, a hotel around. Times Square. It yeah. And we, like five grand. To, yeah, I, <laughs> to I don't know, nice to but we weren't even playing near Times Square. Really? So I was just like, why is this a thing? Yeah. Like they shut down the whole few block radius around the hotel. Yeah. Um, And there were like no cabs or Ubers. So I had to drag all my gear like eight blocks <laughs> in the snow. And it was just like a terrible experience, but the show was amazing. Yeah. It was worth yeah. it. Yeah. Was it this New Year's Eve? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just this past New Year's. Yeah. Nice. It was cool. So do you have like Ramsoid fans that come to the... Yeah. By the way, is that your real last name? No. Okay. My okay. name is uh, Lopez. Okay. <laughs> L-O-P-E-S. <laughs> For some reason, name. I thought it was Julian Ramsoid. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be a crazy last name. I know. I was like, this <laughs> yeah. is sick. Dude was just name. born that with a DJ with? name. Like just... <laughs> he's yeah. meant to do EDM. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not, but... And so do you have like Ramsoid fans that'll show up to the Yeah, to the totally. That's dope. Like more now, especially that my fan base has been growing more. Yeah. Like there's a lot more that I'll meet at the shows. That's like the best part, honestly, like meeting people after. Yeah. Just talking to people. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, it is. It is fucking cool, yeah. man. It is. Do you get, do you ever guess like recognize or anything? Yeah. I mean, depends on where I am. It'll be like random places. Uh-huh. People will be like, yo, man, you're the guy that made Ugly God beautiful. Like, <laughs> I, yeah. um, I went to, you know, Camp Flogna. Like yeah. Tyler, the creator. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I went there and uh, in the Playboy Cardi crowd, like alone, there was like 15 to 20 people and it was like a mosh pit. So I'd be flying around like one second. Some people like, yo, you're the guy that did two minutes. And I'll just like no way fly around and think another guy like yeah it'd be, it'd be crazy so um that that's really cool that's yeah so like really humbling to yeah. just see people like that recognize you like, i think it's the opposite of humbling <laughs> uh, I, mean, I think it's yeah. like absolutely <laughs> oh, the most yeah. like inflating you. thing yeah, ever totally. i fucking love when it happens because it's such like an ego <laughs> yeah, no, it, 100%, it's like yeah, yeah like especially when it happens like around other people yeah it's like i'm not even gonna pretend to like downplay this exactly <laughs> yeah it's fucking dope my waiter at Cheesecake Factory last night recognized me. Really? No way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, he like sat us down at the table and he's like, wait, are you Ramsoid? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, yo, I love your music. It's always better when they know your music oh, yeah, yeah, versus yeah, yeah, the yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, wow, you know my videos, but nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, know. I mean, it's awesome, but yeah, yeah. it's cool. That's super yeah. dope. Totally agree on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so are you like, what's the goal, I guess, with, are you guys going to keep, do you enjoy doing the videos on YouTube or is it just kind of like a, like, is it fun, I guess, to like do the XXX, uh, Tentacion turned so, happy stuff. Yeah, like that type of stuff is fun just because I actually enjoy like remixing songs, Yeah, but like doing the stuff, like knowing that I'm just doing it to get views. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. that, that's kind of just like, oh, why am I doing this? You yeah. Know? It's like, I know in the future I'm probably just going to end up like taking it down. Yeah. But like. Um, like just like recreating songs in like two minutes, like that, that kind of just like, for me personally, I'm like, this is kind of lame, you know? Cause hmm. I'm, that's actually just taking like other artists popularity. I feel yeah. personally. But yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I do yeah, enjoy I don't remixing. Know, you have to do that though. You know, there's yeah, like, I know, there's totally. no right or wrong yeah. way. And like, I think that's like more just pride 
for me, like, just like, oh, man, why am I doing this? Yeah, like, it, yeah. It's like the artistry thing. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's like, it doesn't, like, it's not like you're, not, like, staying true. Yeah. But it's, like, at the end of the day, like, if you're, if you're, you know, if you take someone that's trending, like, XXX, yeah. and you make one of his, you, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a starting point to a project. Yeah. No, You know, 100%. you got to find the inspiration somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You might yeah. as well be a place where people are going to watch it just naturally yeah, because exactly. and it's not like using the person's it's just like it's just like a, a a convenient like way to have people watch like a creative thing that you're doing like you'll need a creative starting yeah. point for anything right yeah but no that's like the thing i have in my mind it 100 percent is like me using this i'm like okay this person's trending let me just yeah but the xxx thing turned out to be a amazing yeah. song in my opinion yeah. i'm like i, I can't stop that. listening to that i wish you would just fucking <laughs> loop it so that it's five <laughs> minutes long and i don't have to repeat it every time it gets more plays when i do that on <laughs> yeah. soundcloud so yeah i always do that gotcha. i'll keep it like under a minute but yeah 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 no I, I could see that but like just like in my mind, the intention going in is just like, all right, this is going to get views. I'm putting out a single in a few weeks. Like, that's, yeah. Basically. Yeah, same here. Yeah? So, yeah, I mean, it's fun. Because you guys I like both it. do that. You guys both yeah. do like Post Malone, XXX, yeah. like 6ix9ine. You just like, six nine. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. It's just like the... Tr- yeah. But I love it. It's like, it's like as much as you like uh, someone coming up with something from nothing, it's also mm-hmm. like, I lo- like, that's why remixes and shit are so dope. Yeah. Because it's like something that's already popular for a reason. Mm-hmm. You're putting your own spin on it. Totally. And yeah. I don't think that's not genuine. No, I always I try to put <laughs> like my own style sort of back into it. Yeah. So like I mean you guys are naturally familiar. Do. Yeah. So But no, that's it's... that's the biggest I guess sorry to interrupt, but that's like the no, biggest thing. I guess question like I've been to like, you know, VidCon and shit like that and people mm-hmm. will be like on panels and be like, How do I start YouTube? And everyone's just like talk about trending shit. And it's like yeah. you just have to. It's the sure. only way in this day and age with this like st- just saturation yeah. of content where you can get anything noticed i guess I don't for know. real sure. like yeah. a creative take on trending content yeah like the yeah. way right now I yeah feel. yeah and it makes sense because it's like no one you want to no one wants to talk about something that no one else is talking about yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unless exactly. you're like it's just like that some, universal thing kind of i guess like that makes it appealing totally. to everybody yeah. yeah so like someone that's not even into producing will still try to watch our videos yeah that, that's like the goal i think yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a general fan of music yeah. should be able to check it out and still enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. You guys were working on a song together. That's yeah. what you were telling me about. Yeah, so um, we actually had one. So we when was it that we first went to this? Yeah, it was like in August, something like that, so like bad. a while ago. So yeah. we were working on this song for like six months, just back and forth, and we both just been kind of busy throughout like the whole entire thing. So it didn't yeah. obviously take six months to make one. Right. Song. Yeah, like we would go in for like a couple whenever a couple of days at a time like yeah. work well, on it what does that like what does that mean you're working on it back and forth you guys sending each other the file yeah, yeah. Okay. like we would send Stems. ideas back and forth got gotcha. like the audio okay. files and right. uh like give sort of direction to each other like yeah. where we're thinking of taking it and mm-hmm. stuff like that yeah um, but we initially started it in la in like a studio in mm-hmm. august a really um, nice studio too like yeah the deer like coming up to the window yeah and stuff. that was wild Wait, like what? A bunch of, yeah. it was where was it glendale glendale yeah, okay super yeah nice. um it was like on top of this weird like hill thing and there were all these deer that kept walking by the window while There's we were deer in la yeah. i guess so like all slobbering was, too every single one of those deer were yeah like, just mad Ra- drool rabid deer <laughs> yeah in glendale <laughs> like all right watch out people if you're in glendale <laughs> yeah. watch out for these rabid deer shout out to the deer <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. a lot of shout outs to this episode yeah. damon lovato rabid deer someone needs to round them up in the comments yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so we were sending that back and forth like to six up to like six months, and um, I think your manager had like an older version of the yeah. song that you showed to Spotify, and like Spotify kind of like dug. I mean, this is what yeah. my guy told me. So I'm yeah, not, like, and it was it like this one of the main like Spotify playlist dudes. I don't know if we talked about this, but I was just like browsing through Instagram stories one day, yeah. and he was like playing it on his Instagram story, and I was like, "What? How did you get this? What? It was super weird. Yeah." That's weird. Shout that, out that's to that guy. Yeah, shout out to Austin Kramer. Um, yeah. You're the man. But um, we'll have something better for you soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, wait. Continue. Yeah, that song was trash too. Like that. Like the version that they had. In my opinion, I don't. I don't know. Like. I mean, I didn't mind it, but at the same time, like, like we can we make have, something yeah. way better. Like yeah. Our chemistry wasn't even there. Like that first day that we like worked on one beat for like eight hours. Yeah. And that, that's how you could tell when just like you know it wasn't it was really dra- like you know it was just dragged out for like okay. way too long. Yeah. And okay. Then we were ending, like working on it for six months, and 
there was one beat that he sent me and like the next day i like got back to him with like a full like i mean it wasn't so there's some song. shit yeah. that just yeah like just flows you're like this yeah. is it and totally. there's other shit where you're do you think like when you have something that you're like you know it's kind of like monotonous and you're working on it for a long time doesn't mm-hmm. really feel like you're go- it's going anywhere do you think you ever get to a point where it's like all right, now you find a certain melody or something where it's like it de- now. It Sometimes. Depends. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. yeah. But I I feel like most of the time the best shit happens when you just make it in like 30 minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you're not sick of it. Yeah. One, right, it right, right. It comes together yeah. super quick. Like yeah. Naturally. It's important to be like really invested in like the song that you're putting out and like the less time you spend on it, the less like sick of it you'll be. Mm-hmm. So you'll be like more into it, like more in tune with like the song you just made. Hmm. So that's like important. And we worked on like... um seven or eight different songs like these yeah. like, past two days i was just, just down in oc for the first like two days i was here mm-hmm. and we just yeah. worked on a bunch of shit that was fun we anything cool fun. anything yeah yeah definitely yeah. so we got some stuff on the way now for yeah. Sure. hell yeah i'm excited yeah. for that you should fucking shoot music videos for your shit so i actually have one like ready okay i just don't know how to roll it out just put put just all you gotta do is go to YouTube and then you go to <laughs> public. public. Like, <laughs> yeah, now yeah. the thing is like I'm trying to you know build that. So that, that's why I've been like posting again, kind of just like weekly, and um I'm trying to put it out hopefully early April just for Carousel. Like, no, it's for an older song. Okay. And if I did Carousel, it should have been like within like that two weeks after it came out. That no, been, like, do a video most, for it. Depends. I don't know. Okay. Everything's kind of like we did shoot one for it. Okay. It's just I haven't like wrapped it up or anything. Oh. Yeah, we shot it in Arizona. So yeah, it was really okay. random. But um You should do it, man. I feel like Yeah. I feel like any like no, it's I, not it's never like too late. Like it's oh, it's yeah, like definitely with not. something like that, it'll be like people are gonna watch it regardless. Yeah, if you yeah. like the song, it's like people are gonna watch it. Yeah. But um totally. yeah, I have one for like an older song that I just yeah, I'm still thinking about when exactly I'm gonna drop it because I'm gonna okay. drop a single on um April eleventh. Oh nice. Right now. Yeah. You so got another I'm one coming out. To, yeah. Cool. I'm trying to like kind of gauge the time in between. Yeah. I don't want to put it too close to each other. Right. Yeah. But that's basically that. How do you guys start a track? Um, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't it, even know. It depends. Sometimes we'll just sit down and like grab a keyboard, make a weird melody. Yeah. And then like start building from there. Sometimes mm-hmm. we could have an idea already laying around. Like one of our tracks, I had this like beat. It was almost two different beats, Mm -hmm. but it was in one and I played it for him and you really liked the second half of it. Mm -hmm. So we just grabbed the second half and like turned that into a new song. He started doing vocals. Or I guess like individually when you sit down, like in your bedroom alone, like Mm -hmm. what's the first thing you do? So I feel I just kind of like do things as fast as I can, like Mm -hmm. in the very beginning, because if you just spend too much time fucking around, there's always a better sound that you can find. Mm -hmm. So I guess like kind of just getting the idea out. And um, so just if it sounds kind of like in the direction that you want, like I'll go put like distortion on the keyboard and just play some keys that will work together Mm -hmm. and then just build on top of that. And then that first layer towards the end will not even be there. Like the first 10 layers I lay down won't even be there and like the rest is just the, the song hmm. so yeah it's kind of just good to get your ideas out like as quick as you can rather yeah. than spending time trying to find like the perfect sound or the perfect melody mm. I, I think that's yeah. like okay. what's important i agree me. yeah and just muting like whatever as you go along adding and subtracting i guess yeah because huh. sometimes the first idea you start out with won't even end up being like part of the song right yeah. like sometimes i'll start with some chord progression or something and build things on top of it, but then leave out like the original chord yeah. progression. Yeah, for me, that's the other yeah. stuff. You just cooler. need something to to, yeah, to exactly. jump off of. Yeah. yeah, for me, that's like most of the time, honestly. Just like, yeah, I, I never end up with like the idea I started with. Yeah, which is like bizarre, but that's usually how it works for me. Yeah, same here for the most part. Sometimes I'll start with drums and stuff, just like program some drums in. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I don't actually play much of my stuff like on keyboards and for the midi pads. It's yeah. just all drawn in. Yeah, it's yeah. just all drawn in. Yeah. Like it's just, I just do it in the videos so people can see. It's yeah. more entertaining to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of yeah. boring without it, I feel. Yeah, totally. I don't think many producers actually like play their no. drums and stuff unless, you know. Unless, yeah. It's just not some, like that practical. At totally, a, you know, yeah. Almost. You have to like set up the midi pad and like yeah. drop the drums into the I hate the drum that. rack. Yeah, yeah. The it's fucking, just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes I do it just because it's fun to <laughs> oh, totally yeah. beat yeah. when the songs like record a beat in. Yeah, yeah. no, that's fun for too. sure. Yeah, 
That's funny, man. How do you like LA? I like it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I would actually move here or anything yet, mm -hmm. but I really like it in spurts of like a week or two. Mm -hmm. That's been what has been working for me. Lately. Okay. Yeah. And you just come here to, to write music or what? Yeah. Like some days I'll be in sessions with like other artists producing for people. Um, and some days, some days I'll just link up with like friends that I've met out here. Cool. Um, do you get paid for sessions where you're producing for other people or do you get paid not, when the song is actually Yeah, you used? get paid in royalties. Okay. Um, but I don't know. It's always cool being in like a nice studio and yeah. playing around with stuff. Yeah. When you guys were in Glendale, was that a studio that you guys just rented? Um, or did, was that like a session? I forget how it happened. I think my manager like hit someone up. Yeah. Cause everyone, it was free. There was like, dude, yeah. there's, there's fucked up deer all around that place. <laughs> Just take you it. You don't even want to go there. You can use it if you can make it in the door. Exactly. It was like yeah. house, wasn't it? Yeah. And like, there was like a basketball there, or a tennis court. Like, yeah. It was crazy. It. I don't know <laughs> what it yeah. was, but it was cool. Um, yeah. LA is like so small. I find what like <laughs> not small. It's the last thing it is. Not small, but Congested. like in the, like, I don't know, just in the industry, I find like, Almost every person you talk to, you find out some weird thing about how they know someone else you know. Everyone knows oh, yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. Weird. That's, yeah. yeah that's what I was trying yeah, to say. Yeah. yeah. Some guy that like got my start basically, uh, shout out to Johnny Pearson. Um, oh, yeah. He knows him. Like he yeah. like, helped me get like my first like big song. Really? Yeah. It was like the first time I ever had like a song under a label and it's an indie label. Okay. So, yeah. Um, he like knows like the guy like that. Yeah. You know, I was like, what? That's like the guy that like got me started, you know, like song wise, not YouTube career kind of thing. But yeah. Huh. It's yeah. Weird. It's, it is weird. I feel people like, cause people move here for a specific thing. Exactly. Yeah. And then yeah. it's really not like this, the people that are actually doing a certain thing consistently, like a creative, whatever yeah. is like all the same people, you know, mm -hmm. There's people that will move here and try for like a month and then decide they don't want to do yeah, that shit true. anymore. Everyone that's, permanently here is yeah. like sort of established so what are you going to do then just stay in pei or are you going to move to yeah i mean i don't or? i don't mind pei right now honestly is it especially like far from everything like it's yeah, super it sucks traveling yeah because you have to connect through like montreal toronto. or toronto okay so it just it's that extra step yeah and it's also pretty expensive because you have that tiny airport in pei that you need to yeah. fly out of yeah um and you always have to fly out at like 5 a.m okay so that sucks. Yeah, that but fucking sucks. It's honestly kind of nice going back there after traveling and just like chilling out. Yeah, because there's no like music industry shit there. Uh -huh. It's it super, super small. Chill and, like, yeah, it's chill. There's nothing there. Yeah. Like I have some friends from home. Um, it's just it's a chill spot. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind it right now. I could see myself moving somewhere eventually, mm -hmm. even like Toronto or something, mm -hmm. just because it's bigger. Toronto would be dope. Yeah, I Toronto's like Toronto. Toronto's really a lot. cool. Totally. Yeah. I went there uh, last, like late last year. I oh, hadn't yeah. been there in like, what, 10 years or whatever. And I was like, this yeah. is just like New York, but totally, yeah. Cleaner. It's nice. And cooler. Plus, you have your, your, your uh, plants in PEI. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> What's, up with, plant? Plant? Yeah, What's what, up with the plants? What's up with the plants? <laughs> What's up with that? I know it's like a giant meme on your channel, but it does seem like you have more and more plants. Every okay. single time. Actually, that was my first impression. When I first really? found your videos, Yeah, the very first thing I thought was like, this dude has a lot of plants. <laughs> she didn't know about the memes. And I, I no, I was like, this guy just room. got a lot of plants. Should I spill the beans about the plants? Do you? Yeah. Like, okay. Well, there's not really anything to it. Like, content. I just, I just had like a plant in my corner, like in one of my first videos and someone commented about it. So I like added another one. Oh, like, like as a joke or like? Yeah, just just like to see what would happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just like, are they going to keep commenting? Yeah. I like took plants from downstairs, like in other rooms and just put them. <laughs> yeah. Like the plants aren't even there when I'm not making videos. Yeah. Like I just add them to the back because it's funny. Dude, that's, um, that is really funny. And then I just started. So you're in on the joke then. Yeah, I totally. thought it was just your room just looked like a jungle. No, <laughs> just like <laughs> was, that was your style. I don't it know. It just became like my brand, I guess. Wow. Unintentionally. Yeah. Um, I just, yeah, I just randomly started adding more plants to my videos and then people started commenting more and more. Huh. And here we are. Yeah. And there you go. There's yeah. the secret there's behind the, secret. the plants. The yep. plants. He's, uh, he's in on it. Yep. He's Sorry, pulling a fast guys. one on you guys. <laughs> he doesn't actually you, live in a jungle. I bet you wanted something else than that. Yeah. But and the meme on your channel is that you never smile. 
Yeah. But so you're a pretty smiley dude. You've been smiling. He's so the whole smiley. Time. Yeah. He's a very smiley yeah. guy, actually. Um, which is really weird because no, the, the thing is, so like the first like two minute video I did, which is like the first like kind of like me getting my start on the YouTube channel. Which I would one? Say. Uh it was Future's Mask Off. Okay. And um in that video, I watched it was that just, one. yeah, it was just so awkward because I was like trying to like talk to the camera. I'm like, what am I doing? I, it's weird, right? I'm like, conforming. it's the most unnatural yeah. thing in yeah, the entire world. Exactly. Like no one really knows that. And like, I was like, what am I like? I'm, I was like trying to kind of conform to like the whole YouTube personality. Like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. welcome, you know? And then what's up, guys? If you're new here, uh, subscribe, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Smash that like button. Smash yeah. it. So um, a lot of people would just be like, yo, this guy's like mad awkward. And then I was like, kind of just like getting over like doing that whole thing so i just talk very straight face and then all these comments kind of are like yo why is this guy not smiling like can he move his face like and, <laughs> move um, his face yeah, that's what his it was face muscles are and, frozen uh, yeah this dude has just got tons of botox he <laughs> yeah. can't smile no the funny thing like, i can't even look someone in the eyes for like too long without smiling so like um yeah. <laughs> what's it called um yeah that kind of just like took off and that that became my brand almost you know yeah totally so, um, so now you can't, you can never smile. He's not allowed. To You're smile. not allowed to anymore. No. Otherwise, it's gonna oh. fuck up your channel. I know. <laughs> People are like, I'm out of here, man. Loses I'm here. Yeah. a thousand subscribers. Exactly. In no, one it video. gives. Me yeah, I was here for about. your pouty face, not this shit. I don't know what this happy <laughs> shit is. It gives people something to talk about, definitely, because that's like what half the comments are, and it's, yeah. it's beautiful, honestly. Yeah. No, I yeah. think that shit's important, like yeah. little like jokes and like yeah. memes. Like no matter you what you're like doing. You have like the old thing, right? I, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that, then that wasn't <laughs> oh, even my yeah. doing, man. That's just yes. how did that happen? I don't I'm know. Curious. Oh well, I think it was just like in in a video one time. Someone said something about me, or maybe it was maybe it was me. Okay, I mentioned something about like I'm too old for the internet or something. Because yeah. when I like when I really started doing YouTube, I was 25, I think. Okay. Now I'm 27. 26 what yeah you look a lot Damn. younger than 26. yeah I really i expected yeah. that. Oh, yeah. i was wondering Thanks. you commented on the xxx video and people were like yo this guy's like old like this old <laughs> man out of here i was like what the fuck are they saying like how old like are you 50 or i was like waiting till you said your age on here it was like okay yeah but, i'm um, like 38 yeah. just <laughs> it's like, Damn, bro. doing my thing it's like, why but that's why like him? even when i was 25 i felt like i because like everyone else was like young as fuck do and i'm like i'm yeah. on youtube like you know i, I just feel like I, I came from like having a real career and I switched into it just like yeah. felt weird. So I made right. a comment of myself being old and I think it just weirdly stuck mm -hmm. from that moment. People just keep saying that shit and yeah. then I like I'll embrace it every once in a while because I think it's like kind of funny. Yeah. But like sometimes it like fucks up like because I act too. Right. And so I've had like people like I guess like I think even like the first time I met my, I met my agent, mm -hmm. he was like, he was like, why does everyone call you old in the comments? And I was like, <laughs> This shit is like effectively <laughs> fucking with my career now yeah. <laughs> because it's a joke and like people are on my channel so, being like, oh, people hate this guy. They think he's super old. Like no one, no one likes him because yeah, he's too old. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's and funny. yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of starting to decrease a little bit. Yeah. Like it's I don't want to fucking now. jinx it. Now it's going to be back. <laughs> Mad. Yeah. Just Everyone hundreds of comments. Of comments. Yeah. <laughs> old man. But yeah, that's so that's hilarious. that's a little meme on my channel. Who do you guys um like get inspired by? I guess like artist wise, music wise. Um, I came up kind of from like a alt rock okay kind of like background. I wasn't like big in like hip hop until probably like fifth grade. Okay, like gotten a little Wayne and stuff, just like how everybody else yeah did around my age. Right now, I'd say Lil Uzi Vert. Like, I really like Lil Uzi Vert and just everything he's doing. It's he's just fucking super dope great, to man. Me. Yeah, no, like, his songs are super catchy, and I hated him at first. Yeah. And every single song has just grown on me yeah. to, like, I really like it. Like, yeah, same I here. Didn't, I didn't like yeah. Money Longer. I didn't either, because there's, no, like, some like things it. that are offbeat. Yes, in that song. and that, you know yes, I mean? yes, <laughs> that pissed me off so much. Yeah. I really, I really don't like that, like, trend in rap, like, yeah. right now at least Playboy Cardi beat. does that too a lot like mm -hmm. they're just like a little bit offbeat and I think yeah. it's because when you're recording it's like you like you, you just don't move it back yeah. there's like latency <laughs> yeah no there's like no it would be sometimes people would be like in front of like, no yeah they just jump yeah. the beat they're like yeah. anticipating it so they like and yeah. it, ha it happened I mean, to me I when like I was first recording too and I was like oh my yeah. god this is why people do this now I get it yeah. I feel like it's almost intentional with those guys though you think so yeah, mm, yeah. I don't know I mean maybe yeah but there's this fucking group um who is it? They're on the, uh, I think they're signed to Kendrick's like label and they're on the Black Panther Bay Area SLB. guys. Yes, yeah. dude. Oh, they yeah. do that in all their songs. 
Yeah. They're yeah, rapping yeah, yeah, like yeah, totally yeah, before the beat. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't, it, like, it, it fucks up a part of my brain. I can't yeah. listen to it. No, I, I only heard that one song that was on the Black Panther album, but I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Like, th- their flow even is just, it seems like it's almost meant for that, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. It's maybe I'm just not, maybe I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I hated Playboy Cardi when he first came out, but 100%. now I'm like a huge fan. Yeah, so yeah, weird. I love his shit, yeah. man. Same. I remember thinking like, "Oh man, I'll never be into this like new rap shit," but it happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you ever rap? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Not like. <laughs> not like. Famous ad lib. I don't know. Not seriously, but like, I would, I would do like a verse on my song or something. Yeah. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would never consider myself like a rapper or mm-hmm. anything, but I mean, I would record something. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever sent like beats to like a, anyone, any big rappers or anything? Um, or had anyone else yeah. rap over your shit? No. Okay. I mean, not like within like the past year, really, yeah. but like before everything. Yeah. Like I'd send beats around, but no, not anything like that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've like sent shit around, but. Nothing that's really been placed. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Who you get inspired by? Like, is the um, same thing? What yeah. Was like, for a while, um, it was sort of half and half, like hip hop, rap, mm-hmm. and like EDM, like mm-hmm. Skrillex and people like mm-hmm. that. Um, lately, the electronic stuff has become really dry for me. Like, I don't know if you guys know, like, the future bass thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But all of it just sounds the same. Mm-hmm. And it's like super uninspiring. Really? Yeah. Like yeah, I'm, I'm like so new on that wave, like a future. Yeah, and like the, it's just like really cute, like adorable music, basically. Mm. That's yeah, just like electronic, like these synths that's and so stuff. Cool to me still. Yeah, but yeah it's what's just, a good example no, of a song that's future? Like almost what the Chainsmokers did, like oh, okay, with, with a few of their big hits. Yeah, they made, yeah, yeah. Okay. They brought it really to the mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I've found like the EDM sort of thing has been really dry to me lately so i've been more into the hip-hop side okay and all, even just like indie music and alternative like um who like travis scott mm-hmm. um like That's not some alternative his, music no i know <laughs> i i <laughs> kind of like the indie shit like taylor swift you know <laughs> people are gonna roast me now but um i was going back to the hip-hop stuff um like older travis scott um older kanye is like yeah. prime uh indie wise like uh king cruel oh, yeah. um there's these guys called jadu heart um they're like sort of electronic indie um they're really dope okay um stuff like that dope um, i'll look that's them up. yeah that's what for sure that's what i've been into lately i would say yeah cool yeah um uh, you yeah i just listen to a lot of hip-hop yeah yeah mm-hmm. And like everything, wait, fucking, I gotta restart this. Does it shut off after thirty minutes? Yeah, it's, oh, like, yeah. That's like the memory card thing I was talking about. Yeah. It happens to me now too. <clears throat> I use my iPhone for the first like while to, of to record. Yeah, you like just got a camera, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I just got a camera like a few weeks ago. Okay, um, what a camera are you using? Uh, six Canon T six. Okay, I think. Yeah, 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 this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm not super savvy with cameras, but. That's the one mm-hmm. that gets the job done. What do you guys use Where? to edit? Uh, Final Cut. Okay. I use yeah. Premiere. Yeah, you're like all Apple Yeah. Well, I programs. can use Premiere too. Like I, I did yeah, yeah, a music okay. video on Premiere. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. yeah, I use Premiere. Yeah, in terms of music, just like hip hop shit. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of like who right now. I like 88 Glam a lot. You guys yes. know that? Yeah, They're I've been heavy into great, that man. The, like yeah. super fast tempo totally. rap is like really, mm-hmm. really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah, shit like that. I don't yeah. know. So, so yeah yeah nice um we'll probably wrap it up soon any advice yeah. to people uh making music or i guess doing youtube or anything like that i would say like <laughs> like no. <laughs> <laughs> no um just keep doing like i'll always get questions like that like what how do you start or like any tips and you literally just have to fuck around when it comes to music it, yeah. you literally just yeah. gotta just try and fuck around That's, you just yeah and you fail just gotta, too fa- yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah failing yeah, is a huge part yeah yeah. Like your first a hundred songs will probably be terrible, yeah. mm-hmm. but you just got to stick with it. Mm-hmm. Also, don't be scared to like develop your own style. Yeah. Like that's a key thing to 100%. do, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like simple stuff, honestly. It's, it's like, you just got to try it. That's, that's it. There you go. Just try. Exactly. Just try. Just that's try. It. 
um, picture, you need one of those like twinkly things across the screen. Just oh, yeah. try. Just try. <laughs> the more you know. Um, yeah. Check out uh, Aries and Ramzoid on SoundCloud, Spotify. Yeah. Uh, go to their YouTube channels. Very entertaining. And um, anything else? Instagram. 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 Yeah. It's yeah. Aries. It's Ramzoid Music on Instagram. There you check go. Check it out. And thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. I Thanks for having it. us. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Peace.